This is a review of Fallout 4 Gullification mod, which is basically a, which is basically a vampire mod for Fallout 4. I think it's pretty well done. And there's multiple aspects to it, hence why it's pretty long. Longer than my usual reviews. Because it adds so much to the game. And it changes things and all that. And basically, there's some parts that I'm not sure how to use it either to cut out, so you would probably have to, you know, skip through it a little bit to certain parts. But. It's actually pretty cool. <clears throat> and there is an updated version of this if you have Far Harbor. So if you have that, do the Atom Guard. Which I will do a, a review on when I get the Far Harbor DLC. But until then, this is the best I can do. And this is just me going through stuff because I had to use a whole new character or whatever. But as I said before, in every other video, the link to the mod will be in the description below. This is the mod where you don't need DLC along with it. Now I will give you some heads up. Basically, the sun affecting you is bugged or something for some reason, and I couldn't get it to work. Hopefully, in the upgraded version, it's fixed, but basically in this, it's not fixed or whatever. So it's kind of a bar. It's like it's, it tries to act like you're burning or whatever. But this is how you start it off. You have to drink irradiated blood. Which I just spawn in my inventory. But you can eat a ghoul or something like that using the Campbell perk. And basically it'll show that. <laughs> Now, it, you go through stages, but I'm going to skip through the stages. Because, you know, it takes like 20 minutes within there. And I'm not going to, and I am limited due to my phone. Oh, and there's going to be a, um, I'm going to take you to the, the Vampire Mansion. But, this is just a texture glitch, so try to look past that. It. It, it counts and goes. I don't know why, but yeah, it's not the pit boys. It's supposed to look like that, and the water is gonna be affected, and metal is gonna be affected. So just look past it, cause it's not even part of the mod to begin with. That's just a technical error, and you know, the end game point of view. But this is after transformation. I'll show you the difference between before the transformation. And after because it physically changes you once you fully turn you know into a vampire so that's pretty cool as well so ps4 owners sorry but you, you're you just can't get it it just doesn't work that way because it has external assets which is unavailable for PlayStation 4 PC users, you can get this too. This is for PC and Xbox One. Now, another thing that goes along with this mod, which I truly enjoyed, was the fact that you had to feed off blood to survive. So essentially, blood is basically your life. Without it, you will die. 
I think it has like seven to ten minutes, or whatever, of real lifetime for you know the stuff to take effect. But in this mod, we also get to go into a mansion, a vampire mansion to be exact. Which, as I said, the blood and everything is texture glitch in this, you know, part. Yeah, that's what it looks like when it's supposed to drain your health, but good luck with that, because it, it's kind of bugged. But yeah, we're gonna head into the vampire mansion, and we're gonna be set. Now also in this vampire mansion, they add additional weapons. I think there's one called throat opener. Another, there are two, there's two pistols in there. And they run off of like blood charges or something like that. Which gets to my point of, in crafting, you can now use a blood altar. Or something like that. And basically, you can craft like upgrades, like you can upgrade like outfits from the, the mod or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I actually greatly enjoyed this mod. It's high quality. I mean, there's probably almost like a mini DLC. Almost. I mean, there's no quest or anything, but design-wise, makes it look like a mini DLC to me. Adam Guard is essentially like a higher up. It's like an upgrade. So you're gonna get like almost like a fucking done. I think done or something like that. I don't remember. It's something from the Sonner that people compare it to. But there's. One outfit missing for the female, from what I, from what I heard. Yes. Yeah, this is the blood pistol I was telling you about. Runs off of blood charges. Now you can upgrade that into something better. Which you'll see later in the video. You can also now sleep in coffins. And yeah, I didn't make her eyes like that or anything. That's what happened after, you know, you turn. Which is why I said it's pretty it's a pretty cool aspect. But for the eyes to work proper, you need the Vlasky eyes mod or whatever. Now there even there's even I don't I didn't show it. I'm not going to be sh showing it in here. Because trust me, I made it long enough as it is. And there's so much to explore in this mod. Which is why it's as long as it is. So all you guys that don't like it being this long, I'm sorry about that. Seeing this is really worth the watch. Now it also changes the Sandman perk a little bit. And in this area when you go down straight, there's a... Uh, cure blood. Now cure your vampirism. You can get, you can make it early on. You don't even really need to be a vampire to use the blood altar. But you can make it the uh, pitch black attire through the blood altar, or you can find it here. Yeah, they got some decent loot too.
You know, daylight doesn't affect you. I might make a series out of this, but I'm just gonna make sure it's always gonna be at night. So, let me guys, let me know what you guys think about that. Now, there's the cure blood. Dark cure vampires. I'm never gonna do that. Now this gun, the a curse or something like that musket or whatever. Basically, that can be crafted at the blood altar as well. And it's fine because everything in the blood altar, you basically just need blood packs. So if you got plenty of blood packs, you're all set. Yeah, I don't know how the training works in the video editor that I'm using, so I can't cut out the loading screens and parts that are not that useful. Sorry about that. If I could, I would, and it's probably would have been shortened. But you also got some more not playable character vampires. Hey. Edgar? Edgar or something like that? And there's also cattle. Now, when I say cow, you're thinking of cows or something like that. Or, you know, red stack or whatever you call them. I don't know what you call Brahmus? Yeah, Brahmus. But that's, or brown or whatever, but that's not what I'm talking about. Once again, don't mind the texture glitch. Just try to ignore that. That's not normally there. But, there's human cattle, so if you need to feed, you can go here. If you don't want to try to kill anybody, and you can feed down there. And also added blood wine, blood wine, so that's a pretty cool thing. You also get abilities to, like, being able to jump really high, but you have to craft these abilities through the blood altar. Now, as you can see right here, th she's a cattle. Yeah, I kind of used the same man per perk and killed the other guy, I think, so he's not going to be shown. But it changes, it changes the same man perk to blood feed, which is nice. Hey. Now you can choose to feed. And now your hunger's satisfied. A cursed rifle. Okay, that's what it was. <laughs> Uh, it kind of looked like a, you know, a musket, but more one of those more advanced muskets or whatever. It kind of shoots like one too, so that's why I kind of got mixed up. But whatever, whatever happens, happens. People make mistakes. Now this can be upgraded using the blood altar, as I mentioned. There's powers that you can use too. So like, uh, yeah, I kind of fucked up there. Like, I just spawned a radiation hound. And it can, and it works with you as an ally or something. Now here's something that I found badass. Look at that death claw. That's gonna be your ally too.
Man, my lungs are killing me. But I'm pulling through for you. Um. This outfit's also basically a, a mod. It only works on females, so. Basically, you have to use a female character to use it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the blood altar, like I mentioned. Going to go to workshop. Yeah, I kind of fucked it up there. I accidentally clicked chemicals, chemistry station when I was supposed to click workshop. Now you just select the workshop. Go to craft. Yeah, the spawn side just did were getting a little annoying. I'm also using that super jump ability. Now this is the thing I was talking about. You can use this to basically um improve. Yeah, I had to place it out here, out there, because it was easier. Then I just used the, the place anywhere uh, mod to basically place it wherever. Yeah, there's that death claw again, which I really got irritated with, like, that crowdedness. You know, also the pitch black attire, you can also create an armored Yeah, I'm annoyed by these, so I, I just basically killed them off. Once again, don't mind the texture glitch. It's, it doesn't, it's not permanent. I don't like the texture glitch to begin with, but I had to ignore it for the video purposes. There's the, up the upgraded blood pistol, the furious blood pistol. I'm pickle Rick. I don't know what's up with the tux. For some reason, it's the same male. Or it's the same as the pitch black outfit. For some reason, I don't know why. I can't figure that out. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm looking back to try to find the throat opener. So I can make the that other unique item. And you have to do it with the blood off to make Satan's nail or something like that. Devil's nail? I don't. Something like that. I still wish I could uh, loading screens.
Now we're going to upgrade the throat opener into Satan's nail. Or Devil's nail or something like that. Yeah, Satan's nail. Now basically what this will do is when you kill an enemy, it'll, you'll basically, it'll automatically feed you. Also these guys, if you spawn non-playable characters in there, they will not hesitate to attack. So they will go balls out and basically just kill everyone in there. God, I still hate the color points. Yeah, that's the Furious uh, Blood Pistol. Now, as I said, you can create more charges at the blood altar. So if you run out and you're not using infinite ammo like I am, that's basically what you can do. Now, I think my character got hungry again, so I had to do this. Also, I'm going to be using a new outro, outro, so let me know what you guys think of that. As I will be using it for more videos in the up and coming future. And the one I made for me, you can look him up on YouTube, he's called Screech Gamer. I will post a link to his channel in the, in the description below. And the link to the mod, I will also post that in the description below if I didn't mention that already. Yes, I know that was a dick move, I put him down. I put him down like a dirty animal. Now you gain, like, more summoners or whatever. If you feed or whatever, I can't ex exactly sh explain why, but that's just how it is. They also give you notes about, I didn't know about this at the time, it's the goalification process. Once you turn full goal, you will have a note in your inventory automatically. They'll inform you basically what goes on with the mod. Now, basically, you have to see that will come up if you get thirsty, and another one will come up, and another one will come up until you lose like your benefits and you possibly die. Okay, you're gonna die if you hit stage four. There's no, there's no going back after that. But this is testing how powerful the furious pistol is. I think. <clears throat> yeah, that's the mansion. So, and it's near Boston or whatever. 
it'll, it'll be immediately on your map when you can fast travel there if you want to, but if you want to walk there, it's basically like right when you enter Boston. I think. But if you know where the bridge and all that is, you pretty much should be able to know where you're going. Now this is the differences face, facial wise. So this is before you turn into a vampire. Which you can see not that just the normal thing. Now Let's see what the vampire one looks like. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And have a great one. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comments below. So thanks and have a good day.